Good day students! For today's video, we will talk about force and motion. What do you think force is? Is it different from motion? Let's define force. According from Wikipedia, a force is any interaction that, when unopposed, will change the motion of an object. A force is a push or pull upon an object resulting from the object's interaction with another object. Whenever there is an interaction between two objects, there is a force upon each of the objects. When the interaction ceases, the two objects no longer experience the force. Let's move on to motion. A motion is the phenomenon in which an object changes its position over time. Motion is all around us. It can be described as either fast or slow. I want you to meet Aristotle, a great Greek philosopher and is a practical and qualitative scientist. While most people know him for his philosophical views, he had some scientific views on some concepts, one of which was motion. Aristotle's view on motion can be summarized as follows. Number one, earthbound bodies move only in a straight path. Big bodies, such as the moon, sun, and earth move on a curved path. The motion of inanimate objects can be natural or violent. Natural motion is being at rest or moving at constant velocity, while violent motion occurs when the body changes speed or direction. And lastly, motion is only achieved when a force is present. So, without force, the body automatically stops. In 1600, Galileo Galilei disapproved Aristotle's idea. There were claims that Galileo made an experiment on motion at the Tower of Pisa, but could not give a clear explanation of the results because the motion was too fast. He had rubbed objects with unequal masses but could not slow down their vertical motion. Thus, he had to do another experiment in which the character of motion of the object would be altered. He decided to observe the gradual motion of a ball down a smooth inclined ramp. Galileo pointed out that the speed gained by the ball while rolling down did not depend on the ramp's slope. If another ramp was placed end-to-end -end with the first ramp, the ball would still roll up at a level it started, even if the ramps had different slopes. From the idea of Aristotle to the experimentations of Galileo, it took another genius to put together all these ideas into a uniform concept that we knew today. He was the first to explain the relationship between force and motion. He is perhaps one of the most brilliant scientists who ever lived, Sir Isaac Newton. He synthesized the words of Galileo and other scientists into a unifying principle that governs the motion of everything in the universe. From a ball thrown, bullets fired, planets and moon orbiting, and even the movement of your body. What sounds so simple is, in fact, the product of centuries of experiment. These are now known as the Newton's Law of Motion, which will be discussed in your higher science courses. How do you detect and measure unnecessary motion in your environment? We have this called motion detectors. A motion detector is a device that can sense motion within a certain distance. It can be classified as long range or short range. As the name suggests, long range detectors sense motion from long distances, 
while short-range detectors sense motion at close proximity. A motion detector may either be a physical mechanism attached to a sensor that alerts its user to the presence of a moving body within the range of the sensor. When someone passes in front of the detector, a light or serene may be triggered. Some detectors are equipped with a feature that allows you to call telephone numbers once the alarm is activated. The motion sensing ability of most light-activated security alarm detects infrared energy which humans radiate. This is especially helpful as a security measure for homes and business. Radar guns are used along roads and highways to identify motorists who violate speed limits. This may be handheld, attached to a patrol car, or found on a fixed object such as traffic light. The tool measures the speed of a vehicle by sending out a radio signal and waits for it to be reflected back to the machine. It works on the principle of sending long wavelength radiation from an antenna and perceives the energy after it recoils at the target. Moving vehicles may block this signal, and the radio frequency will change according to the speed of the vehicle. Unfortunately, gadgets called radar detectors can detect the presence of radar guns, so motorists can reduce speed before being caught. These photos are modern radar detectors. A radar detector is an electronic device used by motorists to detect if their speed is being monitored by police or law enforcement using a radar gun. Most radar detectors are used so the driver can reduce the car speed before being ticketed for speeding. Another motion detector is light detection and ranging or LIDAR. It works similar way to radar and sonar yet uses light waves from a laser instead of radio or sound waves. A LIDAR system calculates how long it takes for the light to hit an object or surface and reflect back to the scanner. The distance is then calculated using the velocity of light. That ends our lesson for today. Thank you so much and have a great day.